Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I am Brad. And I'm Holly. And today, we're doing something a little different. Still a bourbon review, kind of, but not technically. Uh, we are going to do a review of our Infinity Bottle. But I wanted to let you guys know what is all in the Infinity Bottle. This is gonna blow your mind because I don't even think you know what's all is in here. So. Everything I'm about to say is a half ounce of this bourbon or whiskey. Are you ready? Half ounce of Rebel Cash Ring. Uh, Ancient Age, Sazerac, Kentucky Spirit, Benchmark Small Batch, Weller Special Reserve, Benchmark Eight Year, uh, Old Ezra the Rye, Benchmark Single Barrel, Benchmark Full Proof, Benchmark Top Floor, and Benchmark Bonded. Rittenhouse Rye Store Pick, Bardstown Origin Series Rye, J.W. Dant, Rittenhouse Sazerac, uh, Mellow Corn, John J. Bowman, Heaven's Door, Rare Breed, Elijah Craig Rye, Blade and Bow, Henry McKenna, Henry McKenna 10 Year, Old Granddad 114, Blanton's Buffalo Trace, E.H. Uh, e. Taylor and E.H. Taylor Rye, Eagle Rare's in that as well, Marksman, uh, Tin Cup 10 Year, Conviction, Knob Creek Rye 9 and 12 year, Booker's uh, Old Forest of 1910, 1920, uh, High West Double Rye Campfire, I'm uh, not Campfire, uh, Double Rye, The Bourbon, The Old, or uh, Uncle Nearest, uh, George Remus, Old Tub, Town Branch, Uncut, Unfiltered, Jack Daniels Triple Mash and Bonded, Early Times Bottled and Bond, and Blue Note Uncut, Unfiltered. As well as the the rest of the Bardstown Origin series, so the rye, the weeded, and the uh, the the bourbon and the bonded. It's a lot of stuff. So uh, I've never tried an Infinity bottle before, and I'm assuming you hadn't either. Um, let's give it a shot and see if it's any good. There's a lot in here. This is going to be either this is either going to be good or it's going to be like what on earth is this? <laughs> so let's see. I'm I'm kind of curious to see how this goes. How do you make sure it's all like? It just kind of blends really together. Good. I mean, I, I I did shake it up. Okay. So <laughs> let me pour one more in there. Okay. 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 Does it have a smell? Like it? There's a lot in that. I didn't keep like meticulous notes, but I just knew I know what's in there because I had to move the bourbon collection to the garage from the garage. <laughs> really good. To storage. <laughs> it does smell really good. It almost has like a perfumey chalky smell. Yeah. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of Antique 107, which I didn't put any of that in there. So there's no weather. See what, so I'm waiting until we get rid of the, not rid of, but I'm waiting for the last drops of the really highly allocated and hard to get stuff before I put it in the Infinity Bottle. Um, all the other stuff I just did because it's there and I wanted to just get it kicked off. And so now we'll keep adding to what we have here. It smells good. It smells sweet and it smells like a, um, and I, it smells like Buffalo Trace. Like that, um, almost like slightly minty cherry note that I get in a lot of Buffalo Trace. And, and orange, there's orange too. You can tell there's a lot of rye whiskey in this. Mm -hmm. Or at least a good amount. All right, let's see. Weird. <laughs> Spicy. I don't love that. Strong. <laughs> That's weird tasting. Mm -hmm. But the, the finish is weird because there's a really pleasant, like, strawberry note in the finish. I don't get the burn on the finish. You <laughs> may have hit a different part of the bottle than you. <laughs> I get chocolate now and go back to it. You just poured yourself in bed. I guess I did. <laughs> you get chocolate on the nose now. This, <laughs> this would be like a, if I got this and didn't know what it was, I'm like, that's a really interesting kind of weird bourbon, but knowing that all that's in there, I don't think it's good. No, I don't think you should waste a half ounce again of each bourbon. Uh, you don't waste half ounce, half ounce is nothing. Uh, I didn't use any of the rare stuff, but that was fun. Um, I, we'll keep adding to it, just it's a good way to get, you know, the droppings out of your, your the last little bit of your bottles. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more. And uh, maybe we'll do like an update in a year or so and see yeah. where, where it is. We'll have to give that to our, to our good friend.
good friends that come over and want to try a special bourbon. <laughs> this is very rare and highly allocated bourbon. This is the Brad's Bourbon Reviews. One of a kind. One of a kind <laughs> single barrel pick. It's it's weird because like it's not bad. It's just odd. Yeah. You know, it, it's like a, this is the bourbon version of like a a witch doctor. They call it something off of YouTube. We'll flag us if I say the word. Uh, yeah, so it's like a witch doctor from, you know, you get all you go to all the sodas. It's the same kind of thing. Uh, Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers.